Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Today, I wanna to talk about doing oil change on your Cup Cadet SC100H lawnmower. That is the Cup Cadet version with the Honda uh, engine on top. And it's good to do, if you're residential like me, at least once a year an oil change, cause let's face it, we don't run them too often, so, Let's see if we can get this oil cap off without needing pliers. There we go. I did it last year. I haven't done it yet this spring. I was already running it. So, but you can see the oil is, the oil is still very, where are you? Where are we? There we are. The oil is still super clean. Even if I wipe it off on my rag, you know, but it's still good practice to do. It doesn't cost that much to do an oil change. Let's put this back on and quickly wipe everything off here. Just take some brake clean. Yeah, this is a good douche because you don't want any dirt falling in. On most of the small machinery, there is no dedicated oil um, drain plug. So you're basically draining it out from where you're filling it. So it is good practice to use as much fuel as you can before you go attempt and flip this over. And also be prepared. If you're like me and you don't have one of those flexi funnels yet, you're gonna probably end up making a bit of a mess. So just flip it around and let it slowly drain out. And because you can see by the angle that I have the mower here, that's why it's good to not have a full tank of gas because you might otherwise start spilling out. And there is not a lot of oil in these things. Uh, it only takes uh, 12 ounces. So it's really just a smidge of oil that's gonna come out. But nevertheless, you still gotta move the mower around a bit for it to get everything out. And I really employ you to get one of those flexi funnel things. It's on my list to buy. But I just wanted to do this oil change now before I actually bought it. But it will help you immensely. And not to make too much of a mess. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty of comments of, this is not how you do an oil change. Yeah, well, this is how I do it some reason you clicked on the video so it must be entertaining for you oh, that's pretty much as much oil as we're gonna get out you know just clean the rest off from the mess that we made not a brake clean comes in handy Let's see if we're still in frame or if we're totally out, oh, we're a bit out. There we go, get back in frame again. So to fill it, I got this little funnel here. Picked it up at, I think it was Big R here in my local store. You can probably find it in other, like tractor supply, farm fleet, stuff like that. And we're just gonna add about 10 quarts of oil, check it. Uh, 10 quarts, 10 ounces, <laughs> 10 quarts would be much, as much as a diesel truck takes. So, let's see, a little bit of gloop, 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 gloop. Gloop, 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 gloop. Uh, 
in a little bit more. There we go. Now, the good thing is you can cap this one off on the top and put the little cap back at the bottom. It's still gonna make a mess, but you know, it looks fancy. Put the cap back on the oil. And put the oil dip dip back in. I'm gonna just quickly check, even though I know it's gonna be completely a false reading now. But now you can see, if we come up here, and I'm sorry about my camera skills, it's very bright out here. Uh, it, it will be totally in the cross check mark right now. But what we're going to do is we're basically gonna start it let it settle and then we're gonna start it. And we will then check the level again. So I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to settle and we'll see how that goes. All right, I'll let the mower sit for a good 10 minutes now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm slowly gonna pull now. Just, I don't want it to start. Just give it a few pulls, a few small ones. You could also unplug the spark plug so that it can't fire. I just want the engine oil to move around a bit. And then we're gonna fire it up. We let it run for a couple seconds. I'm gonna head back to our oil dipstick here. Open it up, pull it out, wipe it off. Stick it all the way back in. And open it up again. And just check where our oil marks are. You can hopefully see our oil marks are right there so like three x's below the top which for me is perfect i'm gonna mow the lawn at least once i'm gonna recheck my oil and if need be i will add some more oil to it and that's it that's how to do a oil change uh on your cup cadet mower with a honda engine or any probably push mower uh for that matter. Is it the right way how to empty the oil out without making a mess? Probably not. But you know, you do uh, what you gotta do. You work with the tools you have. It's all about saving money, but still getting the job done. Uh, hope this video helped you guys out. Um, talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks.